it's colder in the garage than it is outside. What's up everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome back for another video. Today we are beginning the LS swap on the on my 240. Yes, you heard me right, we're swapping to a LS. Alternator. If you remember the last video, I believe it was the last video, um, I showed you this product, this is from CWC. This is a, a billet, a uh, whole getup that is made to convert your RB, your RB alternator into an LS alternator. So this is part number. I went with Duralast because there's an auto zone right here, so it should be easy to go and swap stuff out if I ever need to. Um, let's talk a little bit more about this. Guess it was in the last video also. I forget this was like a week ago when I filmed it. I think it was about the starter, but uh, it's a part off of a forklift. So if you haven't seen that one, go check this one out. Uh, starting the car sounds a little ridiculous now, but it works. We talked about it, like I said, we talked about it in the last video. Uh, a little bit uh, the alternator is down there. I do have another alternator on the shelf here. These alternators run on They only run 90 amps. So the LS one the LS not the LS one But the LS version of the alternator that all you need is this uh, Bracket kit right here to run it. Uh, the LS is 140 amps So you'll be able to run a lot more electronics. It's supposed to help uh, I guess like a lot of low um, low speed stuff, I guess, like idling and like coming from a stop and stuff like that. So it's supposed to help with that. Um, as, as you guys should know, the tune is like a little weird at the beginning, like very, if you like tip in, it's almost a little dead and you got to give it a lot of throttle. Hopefully this helps a little bit with that. I don't know if it will. Um, from when I was having the starter problems, uh, I decided that I was just going to overhaul a few things on the, on the engine. So I started, I started with the starter. I did the starter first and now I'm doing the alternator just to give it some more juice. And the other thing I do have is a grounding kit. So this is HKS. I don't know if it's fake HKS, fake HKS, fake KS, whatever. Um, came from China. So you're, it's probably fake, but, uh, I already have grounds on the engine, but I'm going to add a few more and why not match it? So, uh, this kind of matches. Kind of matches the uh, wastegate. So first things first, I got to, um, I forget where the instructions were. I got to go look at the instructions again because I don't 100% remember what needs to be done with it. But uh, we do need to jack the car up and we do need to disconnect the battery. So I'm going to go do that quick. Then we'll go look up the instructions and then we'll get to removing stuff. <music> the heat on just to warm up the garage a little bit so alternator uh, comes out just like a normal alternator um, where am I gonna be able to show you this hold on let me get you some sort of an angle so there's your alternator right down here um, attached to this belt uh, there's a top bolt that holds the adjust the tensioner there's a bottom bolt that holds it onto the engine there's a Earth on the, there's a ground on the back, a power wire on the back, and then a, a plug on the back. So those get removed, um, pull the alternator out, and then we'll uh, go to the next step, uh, which is putting all that stuff together on here. Got the instructions up. Uh, actually, Raw Brokerage has the instructions on their site. So gonna do that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film. I will try to get a couple angles for you, but uh, start taking this thing apart. Alternator here, it's very tight in here. This is the, the plug that's undone. These are the grounds, uh, the other ground's off. Uh, the power is off in the corner. The front bolt is loose, I gotta loosen this guy under here. And then uh, take the top one out completely and slide this out. Take the belt off too. So the uh, alternator is out. Let's take a look at some of the uh, similarities, uh, similarities, and then one thing that we got to swap out. So uh, the 
stock RB25 one. That's your mounting point. That's where it bolts to the engine, and then that is where the uh, adjustment goes. Now this is the LS one. This is where it bolts to the engine, and that is the adjustment. So that's where this bracket comes in hand. Uh, I believe this get this end gets bolted in here somewhere, and then that end goes for that uh, tensioner part. But we've got to swap out this pulley, uh, put this one on, uh, impact gun this off. Don't know what size it is, but uh, we're gonna get an impact gun. 24. Alright, so one thing I noticed that I'm a uh, problem that I just ran into. Uh, this, hold on. This is the original bolt that was holding on the alternator with the nut. Threads on, no problem. Uh, new one that they give you, this one. Um, if you see, it's a lot shorter. No thread on. Since this car is like pieced together, I'm not surprised that that doesn't fit. This is something you're supposed to save. Um, well, I guess the real one is the one you're supposed to save to put this back. So I'm gonna have to look through all my uh, all my random hardware and see if I have a nut to fit this, which I probably don't. So I might have to go to the store. I mean, I'm just gonna go with it's the wrong one. Uh, there's a chance this could be the wrong bolt, but uh, like uh, since the previous owner did like random stuff to this car, I'm gonna go with uh, he put the wrong bolt back in it with the wrong nut. So uh, cross your fingers for me. Um, going through the stuff. So far, no dice. Tried like two of them that were in here. That didn't work. I'm not not holding my breath for this. Oh shit! Back in business. So uh, since we're back in business, uh, we're gonna bolt this back up to the engine like this. Uh, this is the bottom bolt. Goes through nut on the back end um, on the engine side. Then this is the bracket that's gonna go in. CWC uh, has a nut to hold that in. This bracket should put it in. Hold on. Stay right there. That bracket should put that generally in the same spot as the stock one. So keep this. New. Stock. So we're in the same spot. So it's the reverse of what I, I just did before, and like I said way earlier in the video, it's very tight quarter, so I'm just gonna slap this back in. Uh, very simple, I uh, just explained it. This uh, long bolt through this um, on the engine, nut on the back, bolt that in, slide this up. Uh, we already have the bracket on. Then stock bolt that was holding in the, the adjuster goes in the adjustment bracket and threads it to the back of this, and then you put your belt back on plug everything back in, uh, put your battery power back here, um, your plug back in here, and then there's a bolt, some, there's a hole somewhere to throw this guy back in, I believe this one, with the ground. So uh, just make sure you, it's very simple, just make sure you reground it. If not, there's always, uh, there's this hole here too, so you could probably throw a couple grounds on there if you want. So I'm gonna do that, probably use the new wires that I have that I showed earlier. Um, throw a ground from here to the frame. Then we're gonna do engine block to the frame. I don't think I'm gonna do the the valve covers to the frame, but uh, that's another one that they give you. And then there's uh, the battery ground, but I have a good battery ground too. So uh, basically just those two, I think. Maybe I'll add another one on the other side of the engine to the frame, but uh, let me slap this back in and then we'll talk again and then maybe we'll start it up. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if there's enough time actually be easier to put on than off because this bolt's a little shorter so you don't hit the uh, radiator pulling it out and there's not there's no bracket on the back side of this like the stock one has this bracket on the other side so it actually makes it harder to like grab the bolt because there's like a notch out there's like a little bump out where I actually have one of the grounds on the engine uh, to there so it's very hard to grab the nut on the back end so should be easier hopefully there's not a lot of space there because of the Front facing manifold. Alternator is on. Um, you can kind of see from here. Uh, that's the, the bracket. Uh, I have a ground there and on the other side of the front because the, 
the back end didn't really have like a spot to to put the grounds on so i kind of improvised and put them on the front if it doesn't work there i will change it um now i just got to find some spots to hook up these other grounds and then we're in business all right so i added those grounds in the thing in the on the engine i only did two i did one on each side of the the engine block to the frame uh forgot about these i installed these completely random but the hood props are on um Gonna try to start this thing up. Hopefully it cranks over no problem. I think I may have also got the digital dash working, so I will film a video about that. And uh, let's try starting this thing. I'm gonna put you out here. It's a little dark. You might hear me. Um, let's try starting it quick. Car's still jacked up like the other video. If you see that right there. I'm just a shadow, so <laughs> you can't see me giving you the finger right now. Uh, let's start it and try it. Probably just gonna be a, a quick on and off just to confirm that the alternator works and if my dash is working. So I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, I believe this uh, LS swap is complete. Um, you did see it did want to click a couple times, but it was my battery was reading a little low, I guess, because um, I was trying to load stuff onto the digital dash, and I had the car off, but power on, so I guess it drained a little bit. We'll see. I'll keep an eye on that. Um, hopefully, I don't. Hopefully, the battery isn't like messed up, because I feel like that'd be the next step of things to check. Uh, we will, um, I guess I will keep an eye on it. Uh, I do have a voltage reading now on the, on the dash. Uh, the dash is, isn't a hundred percent, but it is a lot better. I think there might be like a connection issue somewhere and that's the issue I was getting. Uh, cause a, I emailed AEM and they sent me a new file, but I will explain all that in the next video about the dash. But I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, Maybe the next time I mention something about an LS swap, it's actually putting the LS engine in. I don't even know where I left off the memory card. Just filled up out of nowhere. Uh, what was I saying? Something about LS motor? Oh yeah, next time, hopefully next time I mention something about an LS swap, it is an actual LS V8 American Muscle Bald Eagles um, going in a car. One of these, not this one, but one of these, like 240, maybe S13, um, 190E, Maybe E30. We don't know yet. But uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Uh, uh, hit that like button. Hit the bell and all that good stuff. I guess that helps out. Uh, got some links in the description. If you want to if you want to buy some car parts, use my Injuku link. It helps me out a little bit. It helps the channel. I can do more cool mods to the car. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Join me again. Peace out. Race car.